Oh my god. I think I got it. This is really wacky shit, but this is ingenious. All right, so what you have to do is just look at a spot where the X is not pointing at. So I go here and look here. Yep. Solution to that. All right, so it's pointing there and look here. Okay. It's pointing there. I look here. Aha. Uh -huh. It's pretty ingenious, dude. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh ha! There we go. That is a sick puzzle, dude. Oh. What is this, the pool? Hey, let's see here. Ooh, rubber ducky. Cute little rubber ducky. Okay, so... I'm guessing... We climb this. Right. Oh. Went up there, I guess. Okay. Uh. I can climb this here. Okay, that works. In we go. respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Okay. What? Do I need to stand at a particular spot, maybe? Nope. Doesn't do shit. Hmm. Can I reset it, maybe? I'm dumb. Where's this go? What? Washington license dream marketing. A little bit of an Easter egg there. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh shit, it's my room. I think, right? Been here, right? Yeah. What's over here? Oh my. Oh no, not another one of these. Okay. Let's see if there's any difference between any of the elevators. They all have seven lights. Oh, 
Oh, there's an arrow. Okay. Here. Nowhere else. Oh my goodness. Alright, up. Just go straight, maybe. Left. Left. Great. Hopefully this does something. Right. Left. Aha! There we go. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. That is trippy. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I came from there. Okay. Stack on annual conference. Oh, what am I outside? Oh, let's say painting. It's also a painting. Painting. Let me guess. Also a painting. Yes. Oh. Goddamn alarm clock. Where you at? Your loading bar is getting trippy. Okay. Let's see where we are at now. Oh. On the sculpt. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look. Oh, this is... I'm in the box. What happens if I drop it? Ooh, okay. That's it. Right, so maybe I enlarge this. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. What does that mean? Is that bad? <laughs> Let's go in. Oh man, this is like Inception. Oh shit. Well, it's too small. I'm too big. Hmm. Do I just keep going in? Hmm. I'm becoming smaller and smaller. There's a reason for this. Do I need to get somewhere? Uh. I don't think this is doing anything. <laughs> Maybe I go the other way? Right, let's try to go this way. Inception. Hmm. 
Not really doing anything. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention Pro protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. <laughs> nope. Thought that would do something, but nope. I'm small enough, but I do. Hmm. Is there anything around here that can go in, pick up? Oh. Music playing on the other side. Ooh, it's fucking loud. Maybe there's a hole I can go through. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Oop. That was a waste of time. Okay, let's... Let's go back to the checkpoint. Maybe I fucked up. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. I put it here. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Huh. Music playing from somewhere, where? I can hear it sound from here too. Ooh. What's going on? Jesus. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. They're doing something? Possibly. Oh, well, you know what? Can I... Can I bring this through? What happens? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Through it again. Okay. I just divided by zero, I guess. <sighs> oh, I'm in heaven now. Oh, 
What's this? Not an exit. We'll see about that. Hmm. Whoa. Where the hell am I? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Racist. White space, why not black space? I guess it's a black place. Camera's loud. What's in here? Ah, this is the uh, dorm room. What the hell is this? Relax yet? Erase me. Minerals. Female toads. Oh, that's loud. Hey. Ooh, frame drops. Can I pull this? I don't know why, but I'm really dropping frames here. What did it save? That's weird. Jump this. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. Oh, wait. I think I fell from there, right? What in the world do I do? Oh. Ah. Oof, the frames. The frames. Windows. trash can <laughs> in the middle of nowhere but in white space i also faced the greatest challenge i could imagine because with a lifetime of life itself behind me 
and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Okie dokie. Light switch. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> huh. in here <sighs> what oh Let's go through it. Oh yeah, okay. Guess I go up here. That's fucking cool. Hmm. Two ways. I go this one. Oh, just loose back, I think. Uh, okay. do I do? I jump off here? Ah. Not sure what that does. And go out. Oh. Dory door. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Whoa, that is trippy. Okay. Huh. All right, so I gotta do something with these. Ah, okay, so it makes it um, real, I guess you could say. I gotta put that there. I gotta be careful here, not mess up. Ta-da! Okay. Hmm. Where's this go? Just a white door to nowhere. Can 
Can I put it in here? Oh! Aha, okay. Okie dokie. I see. Wow. All right, here we go. I'm just in awe of this game. This is so cool. Reminds me of like Gorogoa. Oh my God. That is. Oh, it's so trippy. Trippy trip. Time is it? 720... 759. I'll wake up at 8, maybe. Ooh, 8 a.m. Time to go to work. Okay. I'm back here. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again, and again, and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Wait up. 
Wow. That was a pretty good message. That was a fucking phenomenal game. God damn. Oh. I really enjoyed that. Okay, then. That was, like, what, two hours, I think? Pretty good, I mean... Well, a lot of, like, uh, insane stuff that happens, so... Insane stuff that happens in two hours, that's pretty good. The amount of, like, puzzles. But I, I did feel like most of the puzzles were pretty easy. Some of them were, like, real stumpers, but... Other than that, like, most of them, 99% was, uh... Pretty easy, I think. Alright, let's just sit through the credits. And we'll end there. Those are a lot of names, holy shit. I think there were only like two puzzles that I had problems with. Like, um, the one with the app, the one with the apples. Oh my god, that was insane. And then the, uh, the corridor one with the hall numbers. That was pretty hard as well, but I managed to figure that out. But not the apple one. The apple one I had to, like, look up. Super Liminal is a game developed by... Hello Castle. Good job well done. Round of applause for them. Thanks for dreaming. Thank you for watching. That was super liminal.